Hey, you calling from a uh, 612 area code. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Um, good afternoon. Is this, am I on? Yep. Oh, hi, Sam. This is Brenda from Minneapolis. Hi, Brenda. How are um, you? I call, I'm fine. I called quite some time ago before you got the, uh, the new kids, Matt, the new Matt and the, and the new Kelly. She, remember, so she to used to call to a couple them. years ago. I remember. Hi, Brenda. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, sent me yeah, an album, yeah. too, a long time ago, didn't you? I sent you an album? No, I thought, okay. I, I don't think I did. Okay. I don't think I did. Um, well, I, I am just calling to sort of say hello and to also say I'm scared as shit. Because as, as I've told you before, you know, I'm, I'm trans-identified, male to female and all that stuff. And I get a lot of support from other people on the left and stuff, but... All this crap has me really concerned, yeah. and um, I feel really vulnerable. I, I feel frightened to go to places outside of my metropolitan area where uh, I'm treated extremely well. And, you know, here in Minneapolis, you know, we have uh, a large immigration population, and I get treated very well. By, I'm in good terms with a lot of the, the immigrants here and stuff, but uh, if I were to go into outstate or to the small towns and stuff. It, it, that's what it seems to me. It's like small town versus big town yeah. USA, and, and it's just really scary. And um, I also get kind of burnt out by all the um, all the negative news. I have a tendency to, to just try to shut off. All, all of this stuff kind of has a, an effect on me, and I'm sure it does on others, right. of kind of just shutting you down and making you, you feel like you just don't want to know anymore. You just want to go on with your life and do other things and not have to think about all this crap that's going on. But it's, but it's really scary. And um, also, I do not have an impression. I, I know that's a requirement for calling in, no. but um, <laughs> I, I just don't have one. I, I just don't have one. Well, that's, like to- that. I, that's totally fine. Yeah, I mean, uh, my Brenda, my my heart goes out to you. I mean, I think the uh, the the only thing I can tell you is that I think you're not alone in in feeling uh, insecure. And, you know, particularly about uh, what's happening across the country. I mean, just after that um, after that press conference in particular yesterday, I got about a half a dozen texts from people just going, you know, that they yeah, were scared. I haven't even. And I haven't even seen it. I, I'm almost afraid to watch it. But um, you know, somebody, I have these little dreams of fantasies of mine. Somebody else that I pay attention to, and I'm and I'm sorry for mentioning somebody that's not majority report is Roland Martin and his huh. his podcast. And he has a he has a video up now saying that the the pre, the president's presser was basically a declaration of war on. That's how he feels and stuff. It'd be fantastic if you kind of like did a collaborative thing. I mean, because Roland Martin is fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I used to, he used to be on M- on CNN, I think, on a regular basis. I mean, I I, I, I follow him on Twitter, uh, and uh, I don't I don't think I've ever met him in person, but uh, seems like a nice guy. Yeah. Um, I just want I want so much more for the uh, Majority Report to get to get more coverage because it's it's just one of the best it, it does help me a lot when you have um uh, professionals and academics on there and you talk about some app something that's really a, as michael would say really nerdy but it does help me because it helps me to uh counter the uh, the emotional reactions i have and so knowing knowing things or having having good Academic arguments that back some something else is really helpful. It, no. It's really helpful. Well, I'm glad we can we yeah. can we can help in some way. I appreciate appreciate the call, Brenda. And I think oh. I think one very last thing. I think one of the biggest obstacles it, it's it's very mundane to the right taking ascendancy is very it's a very simple thing and it's logistics. And America is a large large country, and the sheer logistics. Of a minority of uh, of extremists getting around and getting to places to protest and stuff is is simply going to be difficult for them. In smaller countries, 
the reason that small uh, extremist organizations were ever able to dominate small uh, other countries in the past was was due to the simply to the sheer size. It was yes. easier for them to get from one place to another, and I and it's something as mundane as logistics might be a problem. And, right. and I really also hope I really appreciate um, the the support for trans people has really changed dramatically since when I was younger. Definitely. And, and that I greatly appreciate. If Please call again much. soon. Well, thanks, Brenda. I appreciate it. Um, I'm sure when I have a joke, I- I'll call you in. All right. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.